Hello there, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Leo, this is your Mercury retrograde reading, everyone. This energy is going to be in the air from April the 1st to the 25th. And what we're going to experience is is a reactive energy around us. It creates ripple effects. So we want to be watchful, watchful of our own reactions we are giving to the world, how we are uh, choosing to react to people around us as well, okay? So just be mindful of this energy being around you. It's not the people, it's the energy around them. So what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to open your reading with a guardian angel oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the spirit animals oracle deck, and then an angel number as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Leo, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. All right, so we are getting for you here today is course correct. Some of you are going through a course correction. I'm going to read you the message of this card. Adjust your energy from being close to being open, Leo. The transformation occurs when you permit yourself to open your heart anew. Only then can you once again receive pure energy, abundance, and love. So a course correction. They're wanting you to be open here. There's a lot of beautiful blessings coming in for you here, Leo. This is why they're wanting you to be open right now, okay? So they also want you to slow down. Slow down. There's no rush, everyone. They want you to be the tortoise, not the hare, okay? So let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. I feel, I don't know if any of you have gotten a speeding ticket recently. I'm picking up on a speeding ticket here. So Page of Swords. So there's something coming into your awareness here that is creating this new life experience for you, Leo. And I feel this is a part of your spiritual journey, but this is something new, a newer frequency that you're about to uh, start walking along. And I feel things are much more clearer here for you. And the communication that you have with spirit is also much more clear. I feel the signs are around you. There's something that you're learning from this experience, okay? So Page of Swords for you. We also have the Justice card. So justice is going to be served. Um, this is coming through most definitely here for some of you. But I'm also getting some sort of a karmic debt being paid or karma, a karmic cycle that you're in. So you're going to see that Karma is about to come through for some of you here. Now, this is a major arcana card, the justice card. The energy is in the background. It's prominent. You're going to feel this either subtly or intensely in your life, Leo. We also have the King of Pentacles. Look at you rising above here. This is such a powerful card and the power is you, Leo. This is that lion energy. And I feel there's a lot of strength here. There's a lot of power, authority, but discipline. So there's a lot of choices and things that you are doing now in your life or you're about to start doing that are really bringing you to this uh, stable foundation, this like really sturdy rock in your life. And there's an opportunity here with this. Okay, so the King of Pentacles. Now, what I also want you to do here is to use your own intuition with my readings, Leo. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So King of Pentacles. Wow, there's some sort of a decision that some of you are about to make here as well, like a really important and serious decision that you're making to shift your life. Like you're you're kind of like, you know what? It's either I go this way or I go that way. And some of you are going to take that leap of faith, that big risk and move in a different direction in your life. Okay, so 
strong, strong shift of energies coming in. So before I begin, I wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you, Leo. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So major shifts here. I don't know where you are right now in your life, wherever you are, Leo, spirit gods are saying you are on the right path. You're exactly where you need to be. And there's some sort of guidance coming in that is going to change the direction that you're moving in. So this is what I want you to pay attention to because this communication is already happening for some of you. You're seeing the signs of it. But I feel that it's almost like you're playing charades with spirit, like you're trying to put together this riddle and um, they're trying their best to communicate it to you uh, in a way that you're going to be able to understand. So what you want to do here is tune out the noise of Mercury retrograde right now. There's miscommunications that can happen with this, right? There's delays, setbacks, these kind of things, things that like to totally throw us out of our comfort zone and we're like, oh my God, is this for real? Is this actually happening right now? It's like, oh, okay, so let's practice patience here. Um, and allow things to unfold as they're meant to and not get sucked into that reactive energy, especially around people at this time. Okay, so tune out the noise around you. Find a space in your home where you can really quiet your mind and meditate here. Allow yourself to open yourself up to communication because it is coming in for you. And the only thing that is blocking it for those of you that are experiencing this um, communication is the thoughts like, what kind of thoughts are you thinking right now? Are you in a lower vibrational energy or are you just so like drowned in these thoughts and things in your mind that you're not even able to think about anything else or even to clear your mind? There's tons of um, videos on YouTube, Leo, that you can find around clearing your mind um, and really coming to a quiet place. Guided meditations also will help. Now, what I get here is that you're learning some sort of a new skill, something that you're going to apply to your life and you use consistently. And this is that beginning stage for you to really create this energy of abundance in your life. This is which, which way you're headed to. So those of you that have dreams around the King of Pentacles energy, what is this for you? Leo. So as Shah Rukh Khan says in Bollywood, you are not here to compete. You are here to rule your reality. Leo, this is that energy. So it's now time to really take that power into your own hands and it's time for you to use those powers and wield them around. And I feel for some of you, you're, you're really good communicators. That communication for you is going to be very powerful. Your words have power. It's now time for you to wield them around and practice uh, even learning words here. Leo, if you're somebody that is kind of like me, I am uh, i don't know English words that well, um, all of them, the big sophisticated words. And sometimes as you can, you've heard me read, sometimes I can't pronounce words. It's because I don't know what that word means. So I'm trying to learn what words mean so that way I understand things better. And I feel for some of us, we're meant to actually learn and grow acquiring knowledge and information that is going to help us under th understand things better, to master something. This is a mastery. This is almost like a course that some of you are taking in life. Like there's something that you're specifically doing right now in your life where you're, you're meant to apply a power that, so some of you have come through an old cycle What's the power you acquired from that old cycle? You're meant to now wield that in this world. Use it consistently consistently, and apply it. Could patience be one of it? Because if it's patience, I feel it's now time to be patient and actually practice being patient, being the observer, just to see what, you know, just, just to see how the world responds to us and the things that we start to see through being patient and being the observer. I'm a, more of an observer. So whenever I'm at social events, I'm somebody that's more quiet. I like to observe. I like to listen to others. I'm very good on picking up on subtleties. I'm a people watcher <laughs> and I'm just naturally like that, but there's so much that I can pick up on and understand and intuitive, intuitively as well, right? So there's something karmic happening here. This is what I'm feeling with the justice card for some of you. So some of you are going to see that justice does pay off somewhere in your life around something that you're going through, something from the past and something in the future here. So, um, <clears throat> 
you have to choose to let this go as well. For some of you, not everyone, there's something happening here where maybe you're trying to control it or there's some sort of an expectation and your life is counting on it. What is this for you, Leo? You're kind of like, I'm counting on this to come through for me, otherwise everything is over. They want you to release that energy because the it's like, why are you putting pressure there? You're not meant to because then, you know, when you put things into pressure, they break or it just mangles it or whatever it is. It's just not meant to be controlled. You have to allow things to happen naturally. So release any kind of control or any kind of, um, you know, something that you're holding on, like this attachment to something here around something. I can't even explain it. It's just, they're showing me somebody holding on to something really tight. You have to release it and let it go um, and allow things to take natural course here. Karma is at play. So remember that the energy that you have put out there in the world is going to come back to you now. I also feel the energy that people have put out there around you, that energy is going to come back to them. So karma is at play here. We are in the season, uh, in the in a karmic season right now. So we're going to see a lot of things happening that are um, karmic. I also feel for some of you, what is this energy of you going back, like making a decision to go back to something? Um, it's almost like you're doing a course correction. That's what you're doing. You're going back and making a decision to go back and fix something because you now know what the problem was. So now you're going back to make adjustments and course correct there. Um, around court papers, contracts, these kind of things, especially this month of April, it's probably best not to sign anything off. Maybe take more time to review things, to look over things. That way you're not missing something and mistakenly signing off on something, okay? This is that Mercury retrograde energy that you wanna be mindful of sending text messages. Um, I feel because there's a reactive energy, sometimes in a rush, we can tend to write something that we don't mean or perhaps an error. Our phone like auto writes something and we send it off and it creates a reaction and then it turns into this thing that was not even meant to be as big as it was. I'm getting these kind of energies through and coming through the justice card. Some of you are about to receive some sort of an outcome that you were praying for, like some sort of, this is like that justice being served energy. So perhaps you've been waiting for something. There's like the, a long time span with this as well that perhaps you've been envisioning something to happen around a court case. Maybe something happened to you in your childhood and now there's like this karmic energy that is taking care of and really putting you at this place of getting closure around this because of the events that are happening. You'll have to share with me what this is, Leo. I don't know what this is. Maybe this has to do with your workspace, maybe something to do when you were a child. Um, I'm getting someone parting ways here, like parting ways, either um, letting go. So I'm getting divorce. Um, I'm getting some sort of a settlement around something. Maybe this is an inheritance, um, like parting ways, but also this energy of getting something and then parting ways. I don't know what this is. This is really interesting how it's coming in for me because it's almost like getting an inherit inheritance and parting ways. There's like this big, huge kerfuffle around something that is about to be sorted out. Something is about to be sorted out in your lives here as well, Leo. So get ready for this energy of sorting things out, getting them sorted out. And you're taking the higher road here. You're taking the higher path. So what is this? Like there's a choice that you have to make and you know what is right or what is wrong. You know that line that you need to walk down because the line is according to your path here, Leo. So um, there's so many different things that are coming through with this justice card. So the King of Pentacles, this is a very grounded, very stable energy and I feel that some of you are already in this place that even though you're kind of interacting with some of the stuff that is going on, you're very grounded here. You know what it is that you need to do in your life. You get things done. Things are in order. You take, you're, you're taking steps here. Like I don't see you stopping. You're moving forward. Perhaps there was a court case down the road. You're kind of like, okay, we'll leave that there. Information they need, I'll give it to them. We'll let that happen and you're still moving forward. And you're learning like, okay, I'm learning this lesson. I'm applying this in my life. Okay, I learned discipline in my past cycle. Let's now add discipline into my life. Let's get into a routine. Let's do all of these like different, different. So there's implementation, implementation of things in your life. I'm seeing some of you investing money here as well. So there's opportunity to make 
make money right now for some of you in April as well. Again, be mindful of what it is that you're sending off. Make sure that you are taking a look at everything that um, you are getting yourself into before getting yourself into it. Um, but remember that there is a potential here for major growth for you financially, especially if you're investing money in like crypto and the stock market. Maybe you're buying some sort of an investment property or you're investing in a business. But I'm seeing that there's some money that you are giving that is going to come back to you in a really healthy way. Um, very abundant, prosper, prosperous way here, okay? And I feel some of you are um, really looking into different paths in life, like you're kind of dabbling into different, different things here that will bring you to this place of abundance, of prosperity, this place where you don't need to worry about money so much, or perhaps money is no longer a worry for you, so you're already in this space where you're like, you know what, I pay my bills, I do this thing, but you know what, I just need to live to be happy here rather than tie any kind of money to it. I feel this money energy is coming into your life because you're in this energy. So lots of ways, um, Leo, some of you are really like doing some amazing things out there in the world. You'll have to share with me in the comment section below what it is that you are doing to create this empire in your life. Like there's a lot of confidence here, a lot of courage. Some of you have taken risks that have paid off. And you know, even in my own life, I'm a, my, my moon sign is in Leo. So I'm a Gemini sun, Gemini rising, Leo moon. Um, and what I'm getting here is I've been investing and really diving into soaking in knowledge, taking courses to really see myself grow. And I'm seeing how that is actually working for me and applying knowledge, um, doing all of these things in my life uh, to grow, like trying different, different things and taking risks. I used to, I took risks in my life in the past and a lot of them failed and I knew why they failed. I looked back and I was like, oh, I didn't do this thing. Oh, I didn't. Well, now going forward, now that I know, um, I never looked at my failures as failures. I actually looked at it like, oh my God, I can't believe I did this thing, even though it didn't work out. Like I did that thing. Like, wow. I published a bridal magazine, created it, designed it, um, laid it, like everything, everything, photography, creative design, had it printed, and I was selling that when I was in my early 20s. So it didn't work out though, right? But at least I created that, I have copies. I'm like, holy cow, I can't believe I did that in my life. So I feel some of you are looking at some of those failures as wins anyways and there's things that you have learned from that which is given you strength and you want to look at life like this your failures i feel they're our biggest wins because they teach us something and we're able to learn and grow from that experience and for me uh, i worked in a nine to five job i was working in the dental industry which worked out really well for me i grew from being a receptionist to a manager and i switched that up as well because you know um doing my side hustles of trying to do other other things i finally came to this youtube channel that actually worked out and is now successful but had i not gone through those lessons in my life through the different different things that i've done i wouldn't be in this place today right so i've acquired a lot of powers in my tool belt that i've applied along the way that has brought me here today and i know that i'm growing even more i don't know where this journey is going to take me i don't know where your journey is going to take you either leo but i know it's taking us somewhere big Okay, some, somewhere powerful where we are sitting on this throne, ruling our reality. And this is a, a humble place. It's not a place of ego, right? This is a humbling place. Um, so there's a lot of things that you're going to have to go through to get to this place as well. Like this person hasn't just fallen on this throne. This person worked really hard to get here. I feel some of you are doing this and you're going to see this confirmation come into your life here very soon. And I feel some of you are seeing the confirmation already in your life here. So there's a slight co course correct that is happening in your life. So embrace the change that is coming in um, and really look at this opportunity, whatever it is that's going on in your life or whatever goes on in your life look at it as an opportunity to grow rather than act an actual failure and make course corrections as necessary here you are the creator of your life here and you have spirit as well that's trying to communicate with you leo so i'm going to now pull a bonus card from you for you from the spirit animals oracle deck i'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook it comes with an oracle message 
and a bonus message. I'm going to read them both to you today. So those of you that are seeing animals or insects in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. And anything that I have missed and more that Spirit wants to share with you is going to come through this card today. So Leo, we are getting here for you. Moth Spirit, surrender now. So I don't know if any of you have seen moths. This is your confirmation today. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now. We have the number 39 on this card. This could be a number of significance for some of you. Um, if you're seeing the number threes and nines as well, I'm getting 39 days around the message of this card, okay? So 39 days, surrender now, Leo. All right, so the oracle message on this card for you is, Moth Spirit asks, what is guiding you right now, Leo? Are you in alignment with Spirit or pursuing something or someone with so much tenacity that it, is, that it has become a compulsion or an addiction? Are you so intoxicated by a potential relationship or opportunity that you can't think straight? Hard work and dedication are virtues and love, of course, is a beautiful thing. However, when Moth Spirit appears, it is time to consider if you have gone over the edge in a relentless pursuit. Workaholism, overeating, perfectionism, or addiction to certainty or even to a person may be your current vice. The form of your addiction does not matter so much, to, so much as awareness of the consequences of remaining persistence when moderation is needed, so balance here. Leo, let go of your excessive energy by channeling it in more, in more than one direction. The fire burns hot and you don't, do not want to be engulfed by your passion to the exclusion of all the other pursuits that matter to you. Now is a time for surrender and radical acceptance so that your drive does not cause you to flee or flight. Spirit wants you to release your need for certainty and control so that you can relax into a more balanced way of using your moth spirit energy. So that's that justice card here. Banish the shoulds and musts so that you can enjoy what is as you allow for what might be. The protection message here for you is moth spirit can be intense and honesty about your own compulsive tendencies is needed right now. That's that course correction, right? So it is too easy to switch from one addiction to another, distracting yourself from the discomfort of uncertainty and the thoughts and emotions that arise when you aren't single-mindedly pursuing a goal. So Moth Spirit calls to you to practice moderation in all things and recognize when, when think you are headed toward the light but are really headed into a fire that will cause burnout. Why are you resisting to letting up here, Leo? Could you be avoiding difficult emotions you need to feel and release? Now is the time to do a fearless inventory so that your addictive tendencies can be toned down and re-channeled into enthusiastic activity in moderation. You are not a machine. Listen to Moth Spirit that a change is needed to support your well-being. Maybe deep down you know that you have become too attached to something and someone. Let go of your need to control the outcome and allow yourself to remember the many ways you want to channel your energy. To relationships, to work, to giving to others, to self-care, and to all the other pursuits you value. So look at that. Embrace Moth Spirit here, Leo. All right, I'm now going to pull an angel card for you as well. Those of you that are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you, Leo, the mirror, the number two here. So look at that reflection. This is what I'm getting is a reflective energy here, the mirror. So if you're seeing the number two, this is your confirmation today. I'm getting two days, two weeks, two months around the message of this card. So reflect upon the past here. Look deep inside yourself because what you give returns. It's that karmic energy. What you're giving is returning back to you at this time. So know that, Leo. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.